up welcome back to my channel if you are new thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me today as you guys can see and as you guys can tell by the title in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i got this barbie inspired blonde dark root bob featuring yes girl i will have everything linked down below but we are going to go ahead and just jump right into it the wig came to me in this beautiful box right here that has this neutral kind of zebra print on it and it has the Yes Girl logo. They did include some goodies, which is always very appreciated. They sent over a pamphlet, some wig caps, eyelashes, and some really cute hair clips. The pamphlet has some information about how to care for your wig and install it as well. And then the wig did come in this gold satin bag right here with their logo on it as well, which you can use to store your wig or transport your wig later. This is a platinum blonde bob wig with dark roots. It's not a lace front, it's just like a lace top wig as you guys can see here. There are combs as well as adjustable straps and an elastic band in the wig so it does fit very very snug and secure and then there is that peekaboo lace at the top for some parting space as you guys can see here I'm like moving my finger a little bit around underneath but I love that this wig came super super platinum Barbie blonde I feel like it's very in spirit of the new Barbie release and everything Barbie that is just trending right now at the moment I am really not someone who would typically try a style like this but again inspired by Barbie I was excited to style this blonde bob as you guys can see it does come with pre dark brown roots however my natural hair is black so this is completely optional a super quick no dye hack that you can do if you do prefer black roots like me i'm taking an old mascara it's not like super dry but it's definitely not a fresh mascara you can use a fresh one if you'd have or if you'd like I'm just using this to get rid of this product, but I'm going ahead and starting at the roots and I am just literally brushing the mascara through the hair. I'm using a regular comb to comb through and then I'm continuing to kind of fade it into that brown. It gave a pretty decent ombre effect and honestly guys, being that this is like a throw on wig and a pretty different style, I'm not going to wash this wig too often so it's definitely going to last for a while and that's something that you can easily touch up in between installs but as you guys can see this wig has super soft hair so much movement and bounce to it and this is a blonde bob with bangs that again you can just throw on super easy to install you can cut the bangs to your liking and bump the hair however you like or even straighten it and this is like a super perfect on the go wig or wig for work that you can throw on if this is your style being that this isn't normally my style i wanted to push myself even further so i decided to go ahead and do like a 1960s pinup barbie blonde hairstyle this hairstyle is very iconic and a lot of people do recreate this style today again just on trend and on theme with everything barbie at the moment and the platinum blonde i just thought it was gonna be a super cute fun style to try but as you guys can see here i did go ahead and bump all of the ends up and then I ended up putting these rollers in the hair however you guys are gonna see that when I took these out they actually made the hair kind of loose and I ended up rebumping it so I would skip this step honestly and just go ahead and bump the wig once you install it but here you guys can see me getting ready to install the wig with my wig cap on and I did go ahead and blonde out my own eyebrows because I didn't want them to be too obnoxious under the blonde bang here is me like okay i'm excited about this install i feel like this is about to be cute stop playing with me but no for real i just tried on the wig and off the bat i absolutely love how platinum blonde this wig is guys i feel like this would look good on everybody's skin tone and i'm not just saying that this is like a icy blonde and i absolutely love 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 that here you can see me going ahead and trimming the bangs again i end up actually going in later and trimming them shorter but I am showing you here the steps that I did to install this wig. I also was using pretty terrible scissors that were not that sharp. So here I am going back and forth trying to cut these bangs the best I can. And at first I didn't really want to do like a super straight across the bang. So as you guys can see, they're kind of like side swooped on the side. 
and I was like, I'm not really sure about them, so let's take out these rollers and see what it's giving. And as you guys can see, it was cute. Like, this was definitely more giving Marilyn Monroe, but I still felt like something was missing. And again, this is not a lace front wig. However, I did want to be able to, like, tuck the sides of the hair behind my ears, and it still looked kind of cute. So I went ahead and took some pieces by the ear on the edge. I cut some sideburns in, I straightened those pieces, and then I curled some pieces up and created like some kind of, I wouldn't even say fake baby hairs because I really didn't even lay them into place and they really were not laying for me, but they were supposed to give the effect of like baby hairs and sideburns. And I even tried to lay my wig band over them to kind of set them in place. Once I did that, I definitely realized I wanted to cut these bangs a bit shorter. So I went ahead and did so. I'm going ahead and definitely cutting the front a little more straight across. And again, just kind of swooping those sides into place and rebumping them so everything looks nice and crisp and it's giving Barbie. So again, I liked how it was looking, but I'm like, hmm, what is missing? I felt like the swoops were not swooping. So I went ahead and took my straightener and I literally bumped one piece and I saw that I definitely needed to rebump all of the hair. So I went ahead and bumped this up. I definitely recommend just doing that directly when you install this wig and just use some hairspray. But that is all it took to get this super cute Barbie 1960s pinup bob. Of course, you can style this bob straight. Like I said, just do a classic bump under bob. But I wanted to do something a little fun and cute. So let me know what you guys think. Definitely follow me on Instagram so you guys can see me post more. I did style this wig a little bit, but if you guys want to see me style it any differently, be sure to follow me over on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. And I think I am going to start reselling my wigs again guys because i literally usually wear my wigs only one or two times and throw them back in the box so if you guys are interested i was selling my wigs at a pretty pretty discounted price so let me know i have a whole separate instagram where i can go ahead and post and sell them on there but yeah if you guys want to shop this wig definitely check the description box down below shout out to yes girl i have a coupon code so even if you guys want to try a different wig from them they definitely have high quality wigs. The cap construction was super clean and well done. The hair quality is super nice as well and easy to style. And I love that these wigs are just like lace on the top so it looks pretty natural but you can literally just throw these on and go. And now that I am a mommy, I do not have time to be installing frontals all the time, like no. So definitely check out Yes Girl. I'll have everything linked down below. If you made it to the end of the video, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Like a G.